My name is Don Joseph Blue, and this is my wife, Madeline Brenda Davis Blue, married name, Blue. And this is our granddaughter, the youngest one of 14, Rebecca Absassin. My birthday, I was just, I was, Friday night, I was, on my, I was on nights working at Camper, and my sister said, well, I don't know, I never thought of it at the time, but when she said, whatever you do, don't go home alone, we'll come pick you up. You know, like don't leave because I usually I go to the bar, eh? Yeah. Have a few beer with the boys. But that was my birthday. They said we're gonna have a party someplace, but I didn't yeah, say where. Sister, yeah. She made me babysit. She went to town. Hmm. Went to pick him up. I didn't know. I had no clue what was going on. He had no clue what was going on. Nothing. Nothing. I thought it was just another party. So I said, "Oh, well, you sure?" <laughs> but anyway, yeah, and. Uh, she kept saying, yeah, yeah, I have a big surprise for you, and I'm like, never, wow. Just expected a, maybe a pan for a prison or something, you know, something like that. So he come out mm. and he said, come on out here. He said, I got your presents for you. So I was standing by the door waiting for her to introduce me to him, and he's standing there and he's looking around. And said, Where's my birthday present? Yeah. And she pointed, she's really here. He looked that short. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was, he was, she, my sister Lucy was joking, eh? So you know, because she, she was wild at the time. She introduced us to each other, Dad, and then uh, yeah. we started going together. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was 15, he was seven. Yeah. He just turned 17, Dad. Yeah, and you just turned 15. I just uh, turned 15. Uh, we're three years old. I'm three years older than her. Yeah, yeah so. We've yeah, we still. Yeah. Well, this, just July 21st will be 45 years. Yeah. We tried to get married in uh, early ages, but a lot of things happened, so we yeah. couldn't, eh? So we finally got married in 97. And my mom was trying <clears throat> yeah, cancer, she so she wanted us to get married before she passed uh, Yeah, she called us over at, at the evening, and we were going to visit. Well, we're going to go visit, but she called us over because she wasn't... We but then, yeah, 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 so we said... Hurry up. As soon as we walk in that door, she just pointed at both of us. You both are getting married. Sit down. I want to talk to you. And then we said, okay. So we sat down she there. Yeah, ready. And she just closed her eyes and pointed to it at date. This was in late October. So about 20 Yeah, something. Oh my God. So she pointed. She opened her eyes. She hit November 22nd. Oh, that's only a little about, about 32 days, eh? A month ago. And then, oh, I said, okay. We'll do it, Mano. So we both Mama, agreed. That's only a month away. He looks at me and he's like, I've been hearing this. I've been waiting to hear this. He said, it's long enough. Yeah. Well, how many years? Yeah. So. We have to go to church and do a question here thing. Mm -hmm. um, but then that sister that did the question here thing on us, like he goes and do his question. He's by himself. And then he calls me in and I did my question. And then she come out, he looks at us and says, wow. Oh. So you guys been together long, right? So, uh, yeah, I guess so. so you answer the, the same. So we answer our questions the same. Mm -hmm. We couldn't, but she said she couldn't believe it. She but not many couples do that. Yeah. Not too many. She mm -hmm. said, oh, yeah. said she would be Well, she, she can know. read me better than I can read her. Like she knows what I'm actually thinking, you know. And then I'll, so I'll look at her and say, Madeline, <laughs> like if I'm sitting down in there or what, doing something. You know, it's like if I get a little hungry or whatever, and I'll look at her and I'll say, I'll just have to say, Madeline, okay, I'm doing it. You know, and, what are you doing? Oh, I'm making a peanut butter sandwich or cooking an egg or soup. Whatever. But that's exactly what I wanted, eh? And I like it freaked me out sometimes, eh? Yeah. You know, I just unreal. <laughs> I said, we're getting too close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the other yeah. reason why and everybody we, uh, waited so long to get married is you have five children. Four daughters and, son, and a son. Right? So we waited for them to be old enough so that they can sign for us and walk with us. So my oldest daughter and oldest son, so they were the one that had to sign for us. And then our, yeah. all our daughters were yeah. in law were there. Yeah, my son was my best and man. And yeah. It was mostly family and friends, eh? And like I said, the other people I wanted to come find, it was like town people who, that knew us and well, everybody knew us. So, but it was nice. It was like crowded, just nice, just comfortable, eh? Perfect. Yeah, and. Hardly any snow around. Yeah, it was Sanok that day. It was everything just perfect. It's warm. Yeah, oh, everything turned out good. You see my wedding picture there? You notice anything yeah. about it? 
Look closely. Mm-hmm. Not really? I don't. There's no ring. Look at my hand. Oh my gosh! My wedding hand. <laughs> We got married, and I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I, I, she grabbed my right hand, and I didn't even dawn on me, eh? She said, well, saying her vows, and she put the ring on my right hand. Walking out there, and <laughs> people taking pictures, and I finally looked at that. I don't know, about, I don't know how long I noticed, about a year down the road. Oh, you didn't notice? No, time? yeah. <laughs> they they developed, and they put it up, and I looked, Madeline, come here. I said, I don't think we're legally married. <laughs> we're going to have to do it again, yeah. this time we're Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, what he looked. Married once, yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Having fourteen grandkids. Oh. Well, the first start was yeah. It's just lovely. Mm-hmm. Have it no Me way. too. You know, like when we were first got together, like when we had my uh, Lenora Junior, Wendy, Patty, and Peggy. I never went in the hospital with her in the delivery room. I was scared. You, you know, <laughs> yeah. But when my daughter was pregnant, she had her. Stephen, I went in there and I said, oh my God, what the regrets if I didn't go in there with my kids there. Eh? It was just, uh, felt yeah, sad. Yeah. The feeling you get, yeah, it was unreal. After daddy wouldn't stay away from the home. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. time the grandchild yeah, would be yeah. I'm there, I'm mm-hmm. going. Yeah, every one of them, yeah. It was nice. What kind of yeah. advice would you give to a new young couple or a newly married couple? Oh, this. I don't, just you know, do your thing. Like, like I was like, the, what, what I told my son and my girls is, you know, when you meet somebody, I said, one thing you do is show a lot of respect. If they don't show it to you, I said, that's fine. Just you can talk it out. You know, it's fifty-fifty. I don't care what. Don't. There we go. I said, don't. If you want to do something, don't just go do it. Because I said that's going to be your your other half for the rest of your life or whatever. I said you have to respect that. And she has to respect you. So if you're going to live together, I said, you have to do things together. That's the biggest thing. We but, were uh, growing up together, like when we were starting to live. When we have a problem, we don't leave it. We don't walk away. We would yeah. sit down and talk about it, and we would counsel each other. If I have a problem, I'll go to him for counseling. Or if he has a problem, come to me for counseling. We don't have to go see a counselor for that yeah. one. We yeah. have each other because we know each other's feelings. So mm-hmm. when the young couple, they'll just try to break up because, well, I can do whatever I want anyway. But if you love this person so much, you have to work hard at it. 